Welcome to Word Nugget. Please kindly subscribe to our channel, like and share this message to bless others. Thank you. Mind will side with your flesh and it will come against your spirit. You are praying, but there is no word. But you, you, you prove God's word through your mind, the renewed mind, because the word of God has gotten in there. <laughs> Praise God. That he may prove. Now the word prove is the word dokimazo in the Greek. And dokimazo in those days was, was a process whereby experts were able to um, separate counterfeit money from genuine money. Yeah. Now can you distinguish Amen. When I give you counterfeit hundred dollar and a genuine hundred dollar, can you know the difference? It takes expect. Yeah, that is the word for proving, proving, and the word prove here deals with the work of custom custom offices, custom offices. Now, at the airport, custom offices. What they do is that when you bring something from outside the country. They inspect what should get into the country and what should not, shouldn't get into the country. Praise God. Though many, many abuse it, actually. Yeah, this week, I got to the airport and the custom, custom officers called me. And they said, Master, what is in the bag? They were asking me what is in the bag. I said, oh, clothes at usual. So I didn't leave things in the bag. I said, of course. <laughs> Did you buy them? I said, oh, I bought them. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they were trying to get money from me because they are new staffs and they, they need some commission from me. Praise God. These custom officers, whatever you are, take, you are taking out of the country, they must approve it. And whatever is coming into the country, they must what? Approve it. Now the word prove is the word actually describes the work of custom officers. The word prove. When your mind is renewed, you become like a custom officer of your own life. Now, you either accept or reject what is coming to you because your, the, the inclinations and the disposition of your mind is renewed. So you can easily discern the will of God. It's amazing. This comes naturally when your mind is renewed. For instance, so there is the good will of God, the acceptable will of God, and the perfect will of God. The Bible says that he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. It is good to marry, true or false? Yeah, it is good to marry. So, God approves marriage, marriages. Yeah. So, it is God's will for everyone to marry. That's the good will of God. That's the good will of God. Some of you, your parents were not even believers, but they gave birth to you. And by the grace of God, you are now in the faith. <laughs> yeah, it is good to marry. But you, you need to accept the acceptable, acceptable will of God is that you, the believer, must marry a believer. The Bible says that the woman should marry only in the Lord. In 1 Corinthians 7. So your marriage should be in the Lord. You should never marry an unbeliever. God doesn't accept it. You marry in the Lord. But the believers are not caring. Their brothers are not caring enough. It's a lie. The brothers here, I, by their faces, I know they are very caring. <laughs> Years ago on campus, I met a sister and the sister said uh, um, she's going out with a Muslim. Because she's waited and none of the brothers are coming to, to propose to her. I said, I said, you didn't wait long enough. <laughs> yeah. For they shall not be ashamed that wait for him. <laughs> so your marriage, you should marry someone who is a believer. But there is also the perfect will of God. Then you realize that you, the sister, you can't marry any believer. <laughs> yeah, because God has a purpose for your life. Yeah, and all purposes, all of us, we don't all have the same as, as assignments or agenda for our lives. 
So there are, there are some people God would specially, you know, based on how God has predesignated their lives and raised them, they will actually be the kind of people who will best fit in your life. Now, it doesn't mean that God has only one person for you, the whole world. There's only one person God has for you to marry. That doesn't, that's not true. Now, if you say there's only one person for you, now when that person dies, it means you cannot marry again. <laughs> because the one you're going to get married to belongs to another person. <laughs> but at the same time, too, God will not allow you to marry every kind of every person. Or even every believer, if you listen to him. Because not everyone is fashioned to fulfill what God has, to help fulfill what God has prepared you for. Praise God. Yeah. So when you see God, God will direct you. There are many wonderful sisters who will come your way. God will say no. Many wonderful sisters came my way. Many powerful spiritual mamas came my way. <laughs> Tongue talkers, devil chasing, demon casting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there were others I really wanted to go out with them, but God said no. I felt God was even breaking my heart. So God, why, why, why me? So God leads, actually. So God has a perfect will for your love, of God for, for, for your life. But your mind can be able to prove it if you know God's will. If you allow the word of God to get into you. God bless you for watching. And if you have been blessed by this message, please don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to our channel to receive more edifying content. Thank you and God richly bless you.